Welcome to World Travel Able Channel. My name is Ella and I am a blogger and today I'm going to do my very first video for my blog worldtravelable.com about restaurants in Barcelona. We are actually recording today uh, from the Palo Alto event in Poblenau. Uh, I thought that a local food market would actually be a perfect setting to talk about the restaurants. Barcelona is a cosmopolitan city with plenty of choices to eat so many of you might wonder where you can go to have a great experience. Nino is a world traveler, an Epicurean, a YouTuber and he lives in Barcelona since 2011. So at World Travel Able we thought he would be the ideal person to ask for tips for the best places to eat in Barcelona. Hi Nino, thank you for spending some time with us today. Uh, we wanted to know a little bit about your insight and experience uh, for restaurants in Barcelona. So you have lived here for many years and I believe you love food and enjoy having a lunch or dinner out from time to time. Uh, can you tell us what are your favorite types of food? Ella, thanks for this opportunity. I love all kinds of food, both uh, Eastern and the Western style. And especially I love seafood and vegetarian food. So you have lived in many countries in Europe. What do you think of Barcelona in terms of culinary experience? Barcelona is a big city with a lot of options for food. You can find all type of food here in Barcelona, especially Mediterranean food. Of course, it's important that you make research if you want to find something of a good quality because, you know, as a big city, you can find a lot of low standard uh, food too. Yeah, that's true. So, um, actually, my husband always say, ask the locals, and that's why I've been asking you for, for helping us out. Uh, do you have a few tips to get discounts for travelers or even locals in Barcelona without losing too much on quality? Well, Ella, if you want uh, quality and service, you need to pay for it. A good compromise is to go in the public sector area where you can find a lot of options for tapas and also pinchos, also with a lovely atmosphere. For instance, uh, with the website El Tenedor, you can find a lot of restaurants that apply a good discount if you book with them. Of course, don't forget to search for reviews from people, especially TripAdvisor is very good, but you can find what people actually say about the restaurant and you can have an idea if a place is worth or not. Thank you for the tips, Nino. If you need to prepare a great dining experience for a special event, how do you manage to get uh, information and choose the appropriate place? I would ask to colleagues or friends because it's always uh, good to get an opinion of somebody who knows a place. Otherwise, as I said before, I would go online and search for some information. of the Palo Alto market. Uh, Nino, can you give us uh, some insight of your best experience ever in terms of restaurant and why it was so exceptional? Barcelona has a lot to offer regarding uh, restaurant experience, but one of the best experiences I can remember was in the restaurant Torre de Altamar. Mm -hmm. It's near Barceloneta. It's a restaurant situated on top of a tower with the best view of the city, the sea, and everything around. And the quality of the food is excellent. The service is excellent. It's a very elegant place, perfect for a romantic dinner. Of course, you have to pay the price for it, but it's totally worth it. Wow, I didn't even realize that there was a restaurant up there. Can you give us some tips now uh, for people who have restrictions, let's say they have intolerance with lactose or wheat. Can you tell us a good place uh, where we can enjoy nice food despite this kind of diets? Well, I can tell you one particular place because in Barcelona there are a lot of options. Just don't forget to avoid the touristic places or the cheapest places. Either you make the search online or always ask because nowadays if you ask in the, the best restaurants, not necessarily the luxury one, 
they always have an option for special diet need people so you just ask and you can get uh, what you really need my favorite uh, vegetarian restaurant in Barcelona is the Green Sport it's located near the Barceloneta station with delicious food, excellent service and not really very expensive too. so I recommend this place here in Barcelona you find the most choices and variety and can you give us a few examples? Well, I could recommend the Poble Sec area if you're looking for tapas, pinchos and um, bars where a lot of young people go out to eat out and drink. It's very nice at an affordable price. Then you can go everywhere in the city center, you can find all kinds of restaurants basically. Just avoid the touristic place. And then if you're looking for something better, a high quality restaurant, uh, they are located a bit everywhere around the city. So you just search online or ask for information and uh, you can find the best one. I'm taking advantage uh, that Nino talked about checking information online to tell you to go on my website, uh, worldtravelable.com, I will add a section about Barcelona. So before you go eating out, make sure you check it. What different nationalities of restaurant did you try in Barcelona? Which one was your favorite and where was it exactly? Well, a bit of everything. I tried uh, Indians, uh, Italian, Japanese, Thai, Ethiopian, Vietnamese. Wow. My favorite uh, is an Ethiopian restaurant. It's okay. called Abyssinia and it's located in Gracia. Yeah. It's great because uh, over there the owners and the staff are very friendly and there is a, right, a great atmosphere and you feel like you are in Ethiopia. Especially they make their own coffee while you are there, Ethiopian coffee. They prepare in a traditional way, so at the end of your meal you can enjoy one of the best coffees I've ever tasted. Wow, that's nice. Thank you, Nino. So can you give us a few examples of restaurants where you're going very often and why it is that you're going there? Well, for instance, the Abyssinia, as I said before, for the reason I said before, uh, also Brasserie Flow. It's a brasserie, French-style restaurant, where you can enjoy good food and also there is a Belle Epoque atmosphere. And another one that I like is Kibuka, it's a Japanese restaurant, it is located in Gracia. And the food is amazing, and it's like a fusion, like an Asian fusion. So you can also find like a very nice uh, hot meal, but great sushi in a different style. Can you share with us a few tips for restaurants nearby shopping malls like Glorious or Diagonal Mall? You know, it's a huge uh, working hub where a lot of offices uh, are settled down now. Uh, can you tell us where you would go in that situation? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, Diagonal Mall and Glorious are not the best places we can find uh, best restaurants. But there are a few that I can recommend. For instance, the Swal, the Indian restaurant, located near Poblano, not far from Glorious. It's a very nice Indian restaurant. And also, uh, closer to Glorious Shopping Center, you can find Lactiu. It's uh, the restaurant from Barcelona Activia, and it's a local uh, restaurant with the local uh, Catalan style. But it's open only for lunch. Since we are in Spain, would you recommend us some places to enjoy a nice paella or maybe good Catalan food? Well, for paella, people need to know that it's not typical from Barcelona. So I would suggest to go to Valencia if you want to enjoy a real paella. For what I know, in Barcelona, for local food, uh, I would recommend a restaurant called La Broqueta. It is located in Rambla de Poblano, where you can have real uh, local food. Especially they do a bit of everything, great fish, and also they do nice fideua. It's the Catalan version of paella. It's not made with the rice, with a little kind of pasta, but that's what I would recommend. Actually, if you don't have the chance to go to Valencia, uh, I know a place, it's not great, but it's it's good. Uh, we went there a few years ago, it's on Passé Juan Borgo, it's called uh, La Maison, and it was quite good, I must say, so if you don't have time to go to Valencia, just have a look there, it's okay. You are Italian, maybe you can give us a few tips on places to go for really typical Italian food and give us also some feedback on how we can find, how we can recognize actually uh, a good Italian restaurant. 
Oh, yes, usually if the restaurant is owned by an Italian, it's always a good sign. So you need to be clever about that, ask for information, and basically avoid uh, restaurant touristic areas. And then you need to reduce your instinct and your knowledge. Well, my favorite Italian restaurant in Barcelona is called L'Osteria del Contadino. It's located in uh, Sarria San Gervasi area. Not uh, quite close to the center, you need to, to get there. It's quite uh, it's isolated from the rest, but it's the best one I've heard so far. So it's really worth to go a little bit further away. Thank it, you, Nino. Definitely. Friday, sometimes we want to gather with our colleagues at the end of a long week or with friends. Uh, we go for a drink, but we also want to have a snack. So what would you recommend in that case? Well, you know, in Barcelona, if you really want to go for a drink and snack, uh, nothing more, you can find a lot of places like this. In the area where I live, I can recommend two places that are really good. One is called Calamata, and the other one is Mica Milan. They are both located in the area of Rambla del Poble Nou, and it's, they are great places. If you want to have uh, an aperitif, a uh, glass of wine, a beer, or some snacks as well. You can also stop there for dinner. It's not too bad. Okay, so not far from where we are now, actually. For our travelers, actually, who are watching worldtravelable.com uh, YouTube channel, what would you recommend in terms of restaurants for, um, you know, the airport or places like uh, the railway station or the city center when you have to wait for a bus in Plaza Catalunya? What would you do in that case? Well, unfortunately, you know, uh, airports, railway station are not the great places for dining experience. It's good if you want to grab something quick, so that you can do everywhere. But if you are looking for nice restaurants, it's difficult to find this area. If you have some time to spend and you are in a central place like Plaza Catalunya in Barcelona, you really need to move a little bit from the center. Sometimes you go on little streets, not far from the touristic area, but not in the touristic area, you can find a lot of options. Just use your instinct, you can find like local restaurants. Yeah, I can imagine. And actually, um, there's a good place if you don't have a lot of time. It's called Maori. Uh, it's a small, uh, it's not a restaurant, it's a bakery, really, and you can find nice pastries and they even have a lunch menu, a quick lunch menu, so if you don't have a lot of time and you are in the city center, you can walk there, it's only 15 minutes from Plaza Catalunya, or you can even jump on the metro, uh, it's just near a uh, diagonal metro station and it's one stop away from Plaza Catalunya. As of the airports and the railway station, uh, I would say if you go to Terminal 1, you're a little bit luckier than Terminal 2 because you have a lot more options. Uh, it's not great, but you can still find something even if you have intolerances uh, like me. So uh, one place I went uh, once was called uh, Musol. It's actually a Catalan food restaurant and it was okay. Uh, it was possible to, to eat and find what you need there. So I would suggest that. For the restaurants in Sans, there's really nothing I can recommend. Maybe you can walk around, like Nino said earlier, uh, up to Plaza de Sans. There is maybe some more options over there. And otherwise, if you have a little bit more time, I would suggest you to go to Arenas. It's, um, it's a shopping mall near Plaza España. It's maybe 10 minutes walk from uh, from uh, Sans, so it's not too bad. And uh, I, used to, I usually go to... Um, Watatsumi, it's a Japanese uh, style restaurant and it's really good food and really good service. So let's see if our World Travel Label uh, community can give us a few tips maybe, uh, some things that uh, Nino and me didn't think about. And uh, again, thank you Nino for sharing uh, all your experience and knowledge about Barcelona restaurants and we hope to see you soon again. Thank you for this opportunity. If you want to know more about this show, uh, you can check on my website, worldtravelable.com. I will have a written version of it. And you can also follow us on Facebook and uh, on uh, Pinterest, looking at World Travel Able. And uh, myself, I'm also available uh, on Instagram at elatravels31. <coughs> my 
blog, worldtravellable.com, is aimed to inspire you to travel, uh, keeping in mind people with special needs and as well the environment. So uh, today is our first uh, video actually. So follow us on YouTube. Make sure you put a like. And uh, well, thank you for watching and uh, bon appétit.